unbelievable. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. In today's video, I want us to talk about plug power ticket symbol P L U G, as well as fuel cell ticket symbol F C E L. So these two stocks are hydrogen uh, based um, EV stocks. In the past two days, these stocks have actually taken a beating in the market. Um, not so much for plug, but for fuel cell. And these stocks are right now trending south. And a lot of you guys are asking if this is, uh, you know, a dump and run or should you uh, buy the dip? So we're going to cover that in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we'll talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Plug Power. This stock has just gone crazy. If this is uh, Plug Power right now, sitting somewhere about $66. Guys, if, if I told you that um, just about a year ago, this is a stock that was trading at about two dollars and some change we can go back um in our full year in so it, it's actually soared from there all of last year just kept making moves and until this year and this past week um you can see here january 11 the stock just like popped all the way to 65 and actually went as high as testing 71 almost 72 dollars a share which is crazy and there was a catalyst for that so this didn't just happen overnight there was a, a reason for that and the reason that happened was because block power stock rallied to 15 uh, year high after analysts praised renault deal so renault is our it's a french um, car manufacturing company if i if i'm saying that right and so they actually signed kind of a memorandum to go in 50 50 with plug power so that actually pushed the stock of uh plug power really really high so you can see here you can read through it i mean i'm going to put a link to this article in the description below so you guys can definitely um go check it out so this uh, memorandum is saying that they're going to go into this partnership where they're going to work together to build you know um, fuel cells cars in in france so plug is sitting pretty good but uh, if you look at a uh, fuel cell here, on the other hand, the stock actually took a beating. Um, instead, it was trending down because um, the analysts on, uh, on Wall Street, one of the JP Morgan analysts, let me bring up the article here if I can find it. One of JP Morgan analysts actually downgraded fuel cell um, to a cell, which is kind of crazy because it says, oh, the stock. Um, has you know overperformed, overvalued, and he's um, he established a target price of about ten dollars. So that's why you see the stock pulling back a little bit. Um, and, and likewise for Plug, he says that his target price is sixty dollars, even though the stock is currently sitting at about sixty six dollars. So it, for for you, me um, as investors, what does this mean? Um, for most cases, these companies are, again, I, I've, I've explained this to you guys um, on the channel. Hydrogen um, stocks are going to be part of the clean energy revolution. There's no way we can just rely solely on lithium batteries. That's not going to work. If we want to achieve the goals that they've set forward for this, um, you know, clean energy revolution, we have to consider hydrogen uh, fuel cells as part of that revolution. So, um, in as much as these analysts are being bearish on these stocks, I'm being bullish. Um, so for me, I'm looking at this is an opportunity. I uh, remember I always tell you guys when there's a dip in the market, most people run, and then when the stock starts squeezing up, people want to buy. And once you 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 are chasing a stock, you be, end up being the guy that buys up uh, very high and then sell low. That said, we've seen. Uh, just this uh, past day, you've seen that again. Plug went and tested over um, close to about um, seventy-three dollars before pulling back. If you didn't get into plug back then, this is an opportunity for you to start looking at establishing some position in plug because this thing is on its way to a hundred dollars. I mean, this, I don't care what these analysts say. This, there's nothing stopping the stock. It's on its way to a hundred dollars. And uh, likewise, 
for fuel cell is the same thing. Um, this pullback to me by the dip, that's the way the market works. You would see instances where short sellers like Citron uh, Research will come out and, and put it, do a hit job on these companies. It will pull back and then give it a week or two. It's going to squeeze right back. In some cases, just two or three days and it squeeze right back. So if you are uh, somebody that didn't have a position in fuel cell, a position in plug power, this is definitely an opportunity for you to jump in and start establishing a position. Again, guys, the strategy is not to go in and just buy all at once. Buy a little bit now and wait. If you see that pullback again, you add, keep averaging your way down. That's how you build a position in, in this stack. So definitely um, for those of you guys that are actually doing the $1,000 challenge, guys, um, in that account, I'm going to be buying fuel cell. I'm going to put $500 towards fuel cell because I'm going to give this thing a few days to see uh, what happens there uh, because I, I believe this analyst um, putting this hit job on fuel cell, um, that's his personal opinion. Um, and again, you know how the market reacts. One person says something, people just jump in and, and act like or, or, or ships. My personal my opinion, again, guys, like I'm saying, the clean energy revolution as a combination is not just going to be one uh, group. It's not just going to be a lithium battery making it work. We have to leverage all resources that we have to the clean energy base to try to get that clean, clean energy revolution moving forward. And these two companies, again, Plug Power and Fuel Cell, they have to play a huge role, role in making that happen. So. That is my personal um, assessment and my personal take. So, again, guys, um, buy the dip. That's the way the market works. Don't wait when the stock starts squeezing up that you buy. Um, again, price target for me for a uh, few sell. I mean, if, if there's no other major catalyst, price targets will be somewhere at like $30, $35 once we get out of this slump right now because of the, the analysts downgrading it or you know being bearish on the stock. And then for plug again to me, plug is headed to a hundred dollars, and that's that's definitely uh, what I have in mind. Um, for me, uh, I'm actually sitting in plug right now because I bought plug around two dollars and some change, so I'm not even worried about it. I don't, I'm not even looking at selling. I'm just gonna let that one sit in there. As a matter of fact, I bought it in my son's account, so I'm not even gonna sell it. I mean, do is what two years old, so by the time he's 18. We'll see where a plug is sitting at. So that's that's the game plan here. So again, for fuel cell, I'm gonna be buying some in my um, you know the one thousand dollar challenge account, and we'll see uh, what happens there. So let me know in the comment section: um, Are you buying the deep, or are you just worried about the pullback and you don't want to touch any of this to see exactly where it's going? Uh, let me know in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, we'll talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. Is that something that interests you? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo is still doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get four free stocks. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, always do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated.